issues or challenges to retail banking in India. We all know growth opportunities in banking, especially retail segment, is set to witness fast growth due to high consumption. In this lesson, we will explain the problem of interest rate risk faced by Indian retail banks, explain the issue of money laundering, identify the competition in retail banking sector, and discuss the impact of Basel II norms on retail banks' business. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss the problem of interest rate risk faced by Indian retail banks, explain the issue of money laundering, discuss the competition in retail banking sector, describe the impact of Basel II norms on retail banks' business and explain the problem of imbalance in bank CD and ID ratio. The risk that an investment's value will change due to a change in the absolute level of interest rates in the spread between two rates in the shape of yield curve or in any other interest rate relationship. The potential variability of return caused by changes in the market interest rates. Interest risk rate like credit risk is also an important source of vulnerability for banks. The degree of interest rate risk is related to the length of time to maturity of the security. If the maturity period is long, the market value of the security may fluctuate widely. Further, the market activity and investor perceptions change with the change in the interest rates, and the interest rates also depend upon the nature of instruments such as bonds, debentures, loans, and maturity period, credit worthiness of the security issues, etc. The assets and liabilities of a bank are affected by changes in interest rates. In general, the impact of a given interest rate change on the assets and liabilities need not be equal. Money laundering is the practice of engaging in financial transactions to conceal the identity source or destination of illegally gained money. It is being referred to as an investment or other transfer of money flowing from racketeering, drug transactions and other sources into legitimate channels so that its original source cannot be traced. Reserve Bank of India's panel has recommended rules against money laundering. Money laundering is a process by which criminals give the color of legality and legitimacy to slush funds. Ignoring economic vandalism, most crime is economic crime. Money laundering is being referred to as an investment or other transfer of money flowing from racketeering, drug transactions and other illegal sources into legitimate channels so that its original source cannot be traced. Apart from the traditional activities of drugs, racketeering, kidnapping, gambling, procuring women and children, smuggling, alcohol, tobacco, medicines, armed robbery, counterfeiting and bogus invoicing, tax evasion and misappropriation of public funds, new markets are also flowering. Money laundering generally involves a series of multiple transactions used to disguise the source of financial assets so that these assets may be used without compromising the criminals who are seeking to use the funds. The entry of new generation private sector banks has changed the whole scenario of banking. Retail banks need to figure out the means to produce profitable business from this segment in the coming days. There is an increase in the competition in the sector because of the advent of new players including MNC banks in a scenario where the differential service offerings are fast diminishing. Technology makes it simple for newcomers to overcome entry barriers and offer competitive services. The entry of new generation private sector banks has changed the whole scenario of banking. Earlier the household savings went into banks and the banks then lent out money to corporates. 
a lot of foreign banks have already poked their noses in the retail game and burned their fingers have now decided to come out of a few retail segments completely. The new generation private sector banks have taken a lead on this front and the public sector banks are trying to play catch up. The retail sector banks have been losing business to the private sector banks in this segment. Big banks in order to increase their business and profits are constantly trying to take over the small banks. For regulating the risk of banks an internationally active committee was formed known as Basel Committee on Banking Supervision BCBS. Over the past few decades, they have issued the Accord for Controlling and Mitigating Risk of the Banks. The revised Accord for Regulating Banking Risk issued by them is known as Basel II. As per Basel II Accord 644, operational risk is defined as the risk of loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal process, people and system or from external events. This definition includes legal risk but excludes strategic and reputational risk. Indian banks have made a very limited progress in quantifying operational risk due to lack of collection and intention to disclose the operational loss data. Despite the suggestion given in Basel II, Indian banks have made a very limited progress in quantifying operational risk due to lack of collection and intention to disclose the operational loss data. Basel II implementation is really a sensitive issue for the Indian banks, keeping in view its technical area which our banking systems are not aware of. Competition has made retail banking to focus on creating a different customer experience, tailored to the needs of a variety of customer segments. To trap that varied customer segment, the latest trend that is getting pace in Indian retailing is BPO outsourcing. But does it make sense for banking organizations to outsource its IT needs? Most of the economists, banking sector experts and analysts feel that strategic outsourcing helps an organization to save on cost and speed up delivery while focusing on the core business needs. The first basic thing to consider is, given the pressures of a competitive market, banks tend to focus on their core activities, activities that link up directly with the revenues and therefore the profitability. The key trend in the retailing will be content BPO, that is, interest in BPO services and actual take-up continues to rise in the retail banking sector as pressure on banks for technology-led transformation and operational efficiency continue to mount. Companies tend to outsource their non-core tasks to focus on business decision-making. Badly planned outsourcing could result in erosion of service value and cost escalation. CD, credit deposit ratio, is an index of the soundness of banking system in terms of demand for credit in proportion to total deposit growth in the banking sector. A declining CD ratio implies that banking sector was flush with funds without any corresponding demand for credit affecting the bank's profitability in the long run as they have to pay interest to depositors without corresponding income from the credit outflow. Incremental investment deposit ID ratio is the ratio of banks lending capacity against its reserves which starts to increase in forms of deposits of the customers in the banks and if banks doesn't lend this deposit they will have to pay interest to the customers on their money deposited with the bank without any income on that deposit. During the recession in the economy and steeply falling down the share prices in the share market the incremental credit deposit CD ratio and investment deposit ID ratio of retail sector banks mirrored the bank's behavior in respect of investment and credit. As the cyclical factors lead to cooling off of the credit growth rate, the trend in incremental CD ratio and ID ratio reversed. The slowdown in credit growth 
is reflective of companies deferring their investment against the backdrop of widespread uncertainty during the recession in the economy. As a result, the incremental ID ratio rose, notwithstanding the softening of interest rates. Mutual funds are generally considered to be pretty safe as they are highly diversified. Banks are struggling for attracting customers to lend their money in banks for longer time so banks can keep maintaining their functioning of crediting. Each mutual fund will have a manager that is charged with trading the fund's assets regularly. This person's job is to maximize the rate of return for all the investors whose money is invested in the fund. Now the banks are facing problems with this sector too as people who have reserved money for long time investment are investing their money in these mutual funds to get maximum profits from their investment because these mutual funds return as per the maximum market value or the NAV net asset value whereas banks interest rates on deposits are fixed even in the long terms. Mobilization of deposits for a bank is as essential as oxygen for human being. In the post-liberalization scenario, the number of players in banking industry has increased considerably, which developed competition in bank marketing. To keep themselves in them in the business and enhance profitability, banks take steps to minimize the interest paid expenditure, and so banks are forced to mobilize low-cost deposits. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Money laundering is a process by which criminals give the color of legality and legitimacy to slush funds. Right or wrong? Right. The degree of interest rate risk is related to the length of time to maturity of the security. Right or wrong? Right. The potential variability of return caused by changes in the market interest rates is called market risk. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Customer retention is an important measure of service quality because loyal customers spend more, refers new customers and are less costly to service. Interest rate risk is the risk that an investment's value will change due to a change in the absolute level of interest rates, in the spread between two rates, in the shape of the yield curve, or in any interest rate relationship. Such changes usually affect securities inversely and can be reduced by diversifying or hedging. Mutual Fund is an investment company that continually offers new shares and buys existing shares back at the request of the shareholder and uses its capital to invest in diversified securities of other companies. Money laundering is the process of creating the appearance that large amounts of money obtained from serious crimes such as drug trafficking or terrorist activity originated from a legitimate source.